we met a Vietnam vet and we were talking to him and he said that he had not gotten a, a parade. And so we gave him one. I never dreamed this would happen. <laughs> and so you're sitting in the audience and Megan notices that you have a U.S. Navy Vietnam veteran hat on and she says, thank you for your service. Yes. And you said what? I said, I never got my parade. No one celebrated us when we came back. How long were you in Vietnam? I was in Vietnam for two tours, um, uh, approximately a year. And it was tough? It was tough, yes. It was very tough. I was only 17 years old, you know, and thrust into a situation where uh, people are killing and dying. Then you come home from mm -hmm. Vietnam and you say, you got no parade. No, I got spit on. I never wore my uniform again. You know, I was done. You know, I said, really? this is really, you know, the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I've never been spit on. When you got your parade here, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel? Oh, overwhelmed. I cried, you know, and I don't you just. You have me crying. I just, I don't just cry for, you know, I, you know, I don't cry on, you know, I'm not an actor, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't get that emotional all the time, you know, but that was the most emotional thing that ever happened to me. I love my nation, you know. I mean, and that's something that will never change. You know, I would do it again. I would go to Vietnam again. I would go back in the Navy. If something was going on so bad that they really needed an old guy like me, <laughs> you know, then I would do it. I mean, because I love my nation, you know, I, and, and this, is, this is a fact. Well, we thank you for your service. When you come across a Vietnam vet, <laughs> thank them. Yes. Thank them. Yeah,